Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. The election clause, the consistent outcry of Catholics across America defying Obama's mandate to include contraception and sterilization in his new health care law, may have had some effect as the White House considers broadening its narrow religious exemption in the bill. The New York Times reports that after the recent meeting with Archbishop Timothy Dolan, president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Obama is fighting infuriated Democratic lawmakers on the issue. The proposal on the table would expand the exemption of churches from forced contraception and health insurance to include universities, hospitals, clinics, and other entities with religious affiliations. It is interesting to note that Obama is considering such a change in his signature law as the pressure increases to win votes, with the presidential election looming in the upcoming year. The choice to close. Pro-lifers are celebrating in Michigan at the announcement that two abortion mills in the state will be closed permanently as a result of a lawsuit against the clinics for being, quote, improperly incorporated and licensed. The suit was brought by Attorney General Bill Shewitt following a year-long investigation of the two abortion clinics initiated because 17 aborted unborn children were found in a dumpster outside one of the two affiliate locations. The order from Easton County Court involves, dissolves what is known as the Health Care Clinic of Delta Township and Women's Choice Clinic of Saginaw. The Attorney General says in his statement after the closings that Michigan state law restricts the organization of for-profit medical corporations to licensed medical professionals only, saying the owners, Richard and Margaret Remond, were not medical professionals. Abortion education. The University of New Mexico is using public resources to build a new breed of abortionists and contraception experts, according to LifeSite News. The school not only receives a percentage of all property taxes in the county, amounting to $90 million in 2011, it also received $345 million of its budget from New Mexico State Legislature in 2008. The teaching hospital campus houses an abortion clinic where abortions are performed at up to 22 weeks of gestation, while the university is the only one in the country to offer a postgraduate fellowship in family planning, offering development in high-level research and clinical skills in contraception and abortion. You can read more about this on our research, research page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Dismissing Law. Cardinal Bernard Law, former Archbishop of Boston, has been removed from his position as Archpriest of St. Mary Major Basilica in Rome after his 80th birthday. And one news source says there's a reason for the change. CatholicCulture.org reports the announcement directly from the Vatican did not mention the Cardinal's resignation, contrary to the reports from the Associated Press in the Boston Globe, which suggest that it was Law's choice to step down. In an article a few weeks ago, the Catholic Culture pointed out that Cardinal Law is the only American bishop forced to resign for mishandling the sex abuse scandal and remains, quote, the symbol of a gross betrayal by the American hierarchy. It is interesting to note the two previous archpriests of St. Mary Major stayed at their posts until after their 82nd birthdays. The Gingrich Grind. Newt Gingrich is wearing down the opposition and taking a 4% lead over Mitt Romney in the latest Kennepack University poll. According to Bloomberg Businessweek, Gingrich has more than doubled his popularity since late October. Gingrich is also shown as the Republican leader in recent surveys done by Fox News, CNN, and USA Today. A significant hurdle facing him now is the question being posed by analysts, will he stay in front or is he another flavor of the month? 
I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Protestantism and some great Christmas gifts. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.